guys, I hope you all are so we're currently in Nice. But we're going. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nightmares. Standing right there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead. Um, so the train from Nice to Monaco is around 25 minutes and the station is 15 minutes away from us. So we'll be doing a day trip to Monaco um, and specifically obviously Monte Carlo. We're going to have a few more places that are very exciting to see but stay tuned because we're just going to do it spontaneously. I know we want to go to the casino 100% um, but we're staying there the whole day and so we can even see the sunset there. And yeah, it's really warm right now. It's like 24 degrees last when I checked. So outfit and tan is on um, and yeah i'll see you on the way buildings and they're actually so beautiful. Hi guys, it's Rima. It's Rima. Again. I mean, oh yeah, you guys haven't seen the Lanzarote vlog. The Lanzarote yeah, vlog will be up and she's in it as well. So I am, I am, I am. You guys will get to know her a bit more. Um, but what I'm saying is that the buildings here are so nice and the cars driving, of course, because it's Monaco and Monte Carlo. The cars driving here are insane. There's like Teslas. Yeah. Very nice, Very nice cars. Bugattis. And then the, the, lot. the ships is going to be like from 365 days. Oh, okay. It's going to be yours. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go to the port and then we're going to go to the casino. The port is like right next to us and then we're going to make our way up. Okay, so the reason why there's so many cars that I was saying um, was because there's going to be a Grand Prix. So I think it's the 13th annual one. And it's this weekend and today is the 10th. So it starts from the 13th to the 15th. So it lasts for two days. Um, and yeah, so that's why the reason that there's so many cars because it's very expensive to come here, um, as in to watch it. But yeah, um, so there's going to be a lot of tourists from the 13th to 15th. So far, there is there's not a lot, but it's it's like it's quite empty, isn't it? For as for tourists, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you don't want a tourist, just avoid those dates. And yeah, it's a historical yeah, event. Church Santa Vod, so it's in the Greece. Um, oh, is the lighting just gone? There we go. So we were right outside the Church of Santa Vod. It's a really nice church. It has very simplistic architecture, but I like it. Um, it's quite small, but I can't find it on the map on Google Maps. But it's right next to the port, and yeah, it has like some really nice paintings with nice detailing. So I do recommend it, as it is worth seeing. Um, yeah, I had to put my jacket on, of course, for it, but it's really nice. Um, so give it a look if you have the opportunity to. Let me try and find some history on it. So it's a Roman Catholic chapel dedicated to Saint Devota, the patron saint of Monaco. It was first mentioned in archive documents in 1070, so it's quite old, and it was built against the wall of Vallon de 
I'll make. Excuse my French, I'm trying. <laughs> but yeah, but it was restored in the 16th century um, again, and I'm guessing this is not its original architecture because it looks quite modern. Um, but let's see when it was last refurbished. It was refurbished in 1870 um, in the neo Greek style, which you can, to be honest, see it's quite simplistic. So. Okay, so we're just approaching the port. The way is a bit complicated for us because obviously um, the ground piece is so the roads are diverged. But the ships on here are insane. Oh, you guys are gonna have a really nice montage. Um, but yeah, also I'm doing a lot of Insta stories, so make sure to check out my Instagram, which is at underscore if you haven't already. Um, I do highlights in my Insta stories, so if you guys want to see a bit more detail, well, there you go. <laughs> We just took some Instagram pictures, um, but yeah, the yacht looks so good right now. Um, this is the kind of thing you go if you're looking for a sugar daddy. I'm not personally, but you know, you are. Who do you? <laughs> Tell me about what we just had, what we just encountered. Oh yeah, some guy literally just came up to us for a picture. And I mean, it happens sometimes, but this oh, guy... Oh, sorry. No, no, it, it does, but it's just like this guy who's like, hi, can I take a picture? We took a picture and he was no, like, he was okay, like, bye. Yeah, he was like, um, can I, can I, he was like, hi, can I take a picture of you lovely ladies, please? And I was like, yeah, are you sure? I was like, I could get used to this. Yeah, no, I mean, he was nice. He was, was nice. Like, he was I nice. thought he would try to have a conversation after. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just different. different. It was a different experience. He was like, hi. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Just to let you guys know, we were just in the Port Hercule, and there is like a track that you go underneath, and it will lead you to the port, to the casino, and to a few other places. Um, so that's easy access, but you just need, can't get lost. As you guys saw, we're right in front of the casino. Um, just to let you guys know, they won't let you in if you bring a driver's license. I bought my national ID card, so I was able to get in, but Rima wasn't because she bought her driver's license. Um, however, I went in for the street like two seconds because I don't want to leave her alone, of course. Um, Ew, don't say that. No, it's true. <laughs> but also, you're not allowed to film. I mean, I think that's normal yeah, as a casino. Yeah. Uh, but I did, yeah. I filmed like a teeny, teeny, tiny fragment and then the security came out to me. But then I was like, walked past and everything looked the same. But it was really nice. The building is quite grand and obviously there's nice cars outside. Okay, so we are currently walking to the Princess Palace. So the Princess Palace is basically where the Prince of Monaco lives. It has been built in the 1100s and uh, it's been bombed and bombed all the times as foreign rulers were attacking Monaco. Um, since the was it 13th century, yeah, 13th century, um, it has been ruled by the Grimaldi family, which they made the way to power by making. Sorry, I'm out of breath. We're going up the stairs. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, you're already out of breath. Yeah, it's because you're I'm sitting there talking a lot and a thing, walking up. Um, yeah, so 13th century, and they made the um, power by doing loose contracts with. Um, with other greater powers, so networking at its finest. Whoa! Oh wow! Oh my god! Have a look.
Nice. It's like That's his mad. own town. That's mad. This place. Yeah. We're currently at the Princess Palace and we're really happy with the architecture here. It's like pastel colours and each of the balconies have like um, different blinds and it's a contrasting colour. So in this case it's like peach to green and, and it has its own effect because overall when you clump these houses together they look really nice. Um, so it's like a little city within Monaco, I guess. It's like a, it's not a city, of course, but it looks like its own town. Um, so I wonder what rent will be here. It'll be expensive, <laughs> but it looks really nice. Um, and yeah, so definitely worth seeing. You know what? I feel like people have like holiday homes in Monaco. Oh yeah, definitely. Sure. Hundred percent. The thing is we googled if every single person in Monaco is rich and it was like yes. Yes, literally yes. We're saying that the waiters and like the people that actually work in like restaurants, they must not live in Monaco, yeah. they must live in like surrounding areas. Or like Nice. It's only like a 20 minute train journey anyway. Yeah, so maybe that's why. Yeah. But yeah, I'll give you guys a cute montage. So this um, garden was made by Prince Rainier III in memory of his wife, ex of his wife Grace. Um, so obviously there's a mountain feature up here, and the garden is made of over 4,000 roses. And it's beautiful. It has many colours to it, and it has like beautiful gates. Um, and yeah, it's. I think this one's really nice. It's definitely worth seeing. This one is black perky mellow. It looks a bit dead, but I'll try and smell it and I'll tell you what you guys think. I've got a bottle. Oh, it 
It smells so nice. It smells of something I know. Oh, I love it. Okay, and this is the Orient. Pullman Orient Express. This is my favorite rose. Well, that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, red roses are classic in my book, but that one's really nice. I love it. Yeah, I'm guessing that is Grace right over there. Hey girl, Hello. I like your garden. from the car and they went like this. <laughs> I think they're trying to say we're gay, you're safe. Okay, so unfortunately we did not make it to the fort as we planned. Because we got lost and we didn't want to risk it anymore. And um, we're actually rushing for our train right now. What I mean like what have you been up to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um we're rushing for our train right now. Um so yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And comment below what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. Bye.